Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and we're going to be looking at a pair of knives by CRKT, that's Columbia River Knife and Tool. I was able to talk to them while I was at Blade Show this year, and uh, I was looking at some of their new models, so they decided to go ahead and send out two of them so I can test them out and review them and give you guys my opinions on them. This is by all intents and purposes the same exact knife, it's just a compact version and a standard version, and that is the Jettison. So this is the compact number 6120. And this is the new model for this year, which is the standard version of the Jettison, which is number 6130. So let's go ahead and take a look at the compact version first. This is the box that it comes in. And what really attracted me to this particular knife was its design, just the, uh, the look of the knife itself, um, but also the intended purpose of this knife. Uh, basically, this knife was designed to be uh, a standard EDC blade. This is going to tackle those EDC tacks that you would normally um, find other blades lacking in the sense of like opening up boxes, cutting boxes down, uh, just having something available that's going to, again, tackle those um, different tasks that you would find on a regular basis. As you guys can see, this has a flipper on there. Uh, the handle material on this is stonewashed titanium, so it's going to be very lightweight. This knife is designed to actually be just kind of thrown into your pocket, so you won't find a pocket clip on it. What you will have is this titanium backspacer as well that actually transfers over into a lanyard loop heel. So uh, this gives you a, a couple of different mounting options also besides just kind of throwing it into your pocket. You can attach a split ring on here and put it on your keys, uh, maybe put some paracord on there and wear it around your neck, or um, you can just kind of throw a lanyard or a bead or something like that on there and just have that give you a little bit more purchase when you pull it out of your pocket. Uh, again, because it is uh, stonewashed titanium, it's going to be very lightweight, so uh, I can easily see this knife serving the role of a secondary knife. So if you do have a primary knife, but you don't want to gunk up your blade with tape or anything like that, this is um, the knife that I would definitely reach for. You do have a, an over-travel stop pin right here, so that allows the um, lock bar to not go ahead and travel further past the actual um, handle material. So let's go ahead and flip it open so you guys can see the blade. Uh, there it is. This is an 8CR 13MOV 2-inch blade, uh, and it is a worn cliff design, so it's going to be very straight. Um, again, that's going to give you great um, cutting capabilities, so if you have to slice through boxes and things like that, that's going to be great. Um, the added bonus to that is, if the knife does become bl uh, blunt or dull or something like that, you can still, with the force, just kind of slice over tape and open up the boxes that way. Uh, it does have a really wicked blade, uh, or sorry, tip right here, uh, just because of the, um, ge the geometry of the blade, how it sweeps down there. So it's going to be great piercer, especially if you have to kind of pierce into uh, packaging material or tape or anything like that. This is going to do a great job at that. The flipper actually becomes a finger guard right there, which allows your finger not to kind of slide onto the blade. And then you have this um, really interesting upswit right here on the on the spine of the blade, which allows for your thumb to rest really nice and naturally right there. So that gives you extra grip when you want to go ahead and uh, open up the boxes and stuff like that. So again, I mentioned this is a two inch blade. Overall length on this is going to be 5.197 inches. So again, it's, uh, it's a very small knife. It comes in at 1.3 ounces. So like I said, this is uh, basically going to be something that you're going to drop into your pocket and just kind of forget about it. So this is a great, great little backup EDC blade. And that's actually the role that I've been using it as uh, to test it out. It's just, um, you know, kind of throwing it in my pocket. And if I need to um, open up a box or actually cut a box down or something like that, I'll reach for this. And it's performed very, very nicely. It comes razor sharp right out of the box. Um, again, you do have your um, frame lock right here and your over travel pin right there. So uh, it locks up very nice and tight and nice and secure. And it is uh, really, really comfortable to carry. So with that being said, we'll take a look at the um, full size version. And again, by all intents and purposes, this is pretty much the same exact knife. Uh, the main difference is the handle material on the full size Jettison is actually stonewashed stainless steel. So they went with uh, stainless steel um, handles on this. Uh, again, I, I think it's more uh, based on the actual design and feel of the knife itself. 
um, also to kind of keep costs down. Um, but for the most part, it feels uh, very similar to the compact version. Again, you do have your flipper right there. Flips on nice and uh, fast. It locks up very nice and secure. Uh, you do get a pretty deep right pocket clip on this, um, right side carry tip up only. And then you have your spacer right there. So again, it's uh, pretty much the bigger version of the Jettison Compact. Now I um, have been carrying this as a primary knife um, on and off rotating it through my EDC. And this is that type of knife that you're gonna be able to do all those EDC tasks, but instead of carrying a secondary knife, kind of like in the sense that I was carrying this one, this particular knife would pretty much do both. You do have um, that nice um, belly on the blade right here. It cuts very, very nicely. Again, you do have like upslip on the spine of the blade there that the um, compact one has also. So your thumb rests really nicely there. But I do like how this, um, the, the spine kind of thins in right here and flares back out. So it makes the tip of the knife very, very sturdy. Uh, whereas the um, smaller compact version kind of comes to a more um, acute uh, point there, as you guys can see. Uh, this one does have a, a thicker point. So I can very easily see stabbing through things and not have to worry about breaking off that tip or anything like that. Versus this one is gonna be a, a you know very acute piercing point on it. Again, both of them do the jobs that they are intended for. Um, this particular one has a 3.26 uh, inch blade. So again, great for EDC tasks. And I can easily see this handling anything from medium to heavy duty tasks you know, uh, very, very well. Overall is 7.75 inches on this and it's coming in at 4.5 ounces. Again, uh, blade material is 8CR13 MOV. So it comes razor sharp, but it is very easy to sharpen back up if you do have to. Now, what I do like is uh, that stone wash stainless steel on, on the handles on this, just because as you continue to use it, it's going to, you know, handle, uh, you know, it, it will get scratches here and there, but it's just going to add to the look of the knife itself. Again, this is a frame lock. Uh, the other difference is uh, no over travel pin on this one, as you will find on the compact version. So again, it just depends on what it is that you need from the knives, um, you know, the different little aspects. But for the most part and all intended purposes, they are pretty similar as far as the look and the performance of both of them. It's just depending on if you want something more compact like the, you know, the compact version or something kind of to carry you know, as your primary EDC knife. So that's it. That is the CRKT Jettison, both the compact and the standard model. Uh, I definitely would recommend these at the price point that you can find them, um, you know, online and things like that. They are great knives, especially if you're looking for a knife that's going to be great for all around purposes. So there it is. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.